uh, I have an office within my home. How do I show or indicate that on my taxes? So this is uh, tax 101 for Anderson. We do not like home office deductions, number one. And that means you writing it off on your Schedule C. If you have a business and you're using a home office, you're filing, I think it's an 8829. Right. And you are writing that off as part of your business and it's on your return. And that's what everybody says, hey, there's a red flag. The red flag is that you're filing a Schedule C <laughs> on your personal return. Not just the home office, but the home office certainly doesn't help. What I'd rather see is a corporation, an S or a C Corp in the mix, reimbursing you as an employee for your use or for the company's use of your home office. And it's not renting it from you, it's reimbursing you the expenses attributed to that portion of your home. So I'm gonna draw this up. Let's say you have a house and you have this little section of your house called a home office. And it is, let's say that this one is 10 by 10. So it's 100 square feet. What the, what the IRS allows your employer to do, an S or a C Corp, is reimburse you the expenses of that home office. And the, whole, the, and, and the reimbursement um, is based off of the fact that you had expenses for the whole home. And it doesn't matter whether it's a rental or a uh, purchased home, you still have expenses. You have expenses like real estate taxes, mortgage, whoops, utilities. HOA. All of it, HOA, uh, even things like uh, depreciation. Yep. Those are all expenses. And what it does is it lets you pay a percentage back. And guess what? Nowhere on your return does this money show up. And I say your return. This is the say I always use Krispy Kremes in my examples, but I say if I ask Jeff, hey, on your way into the office, grab some Krispy Kremes and I'll reimburse you. And Jeff goes and he buys a whole bunch of Krispy Kremes and he comes into the office and says, hey, that was 50 bucks. And we write him a company check for $50. Where does Jeff report that? The answer is he doesn't. He got reimbursed. So this is the most important word you'll ever hear, accountable. This is called an accountable plan. When you have an employer, they can reimburse you for things that you incur on their behalf. And that's just, there's a laundry list of them, but the most important ones are things like your computer, your cell phone, your, your home, your utilities that you're using for the convenience of the employer, all those things. Now it can reimburse you. So now we know that we wanna get reimbursed. So don't do a home office because that's you. This is a business reimbursing you for your, the use of your home at their convenience changes up the rules a little bit. Now, the way to calculate this, there's a number of ways. The, the, the IRS has what's called a simple test, where this is $5 per square foot per year. So if this is 10 by 10, you would get a $500 deduction at the end of the year, or reimbursement. You don't have to report it, the company gets to just write off $500 as a lease expense. Okay, that sucks. The other way that people do is they look and say the entire house. So let's say the entire house, I don't know how big this should be. This looks like 30 by 30. So let's say you have a 30 by 30 house. So you have one ninth would be the deduction. So if you have expenses of $9,000 throughout the year, you would get a $1,000 deduction. You get one ninth of that because one, this is 100 square foot versus uh, 900 square feet. Now there's another method that's not the only methods. There's other, like there's actually like nine, although I've never seen all nine. I use about three. Uh, Jeff, how many, like what, what are your favorites? I only use a couple. I use these two. I use the simplified method. You're such an accountant. I'm such an accountant. So there's two ways to do it. You could do the square footage <coughs> method 
which is based off of this 30 by 30 versus the 10 by 10. So it's 900 to 900 versus 100. You could use the net square footage where we remove hallways and bathrooms and places for your water heater and your air conditioner and all those things. You remove them and say, hey, we're only looking at the net usable square footage. This is what you use in commercial and stuff like right. that. So let's say that your net uh, square footage, the net usable square footage, we have a hallway that runs through here and we have a you know couple of places, you know, but here's where the water heater is and all that stuff. And let's say that we remove 200 square feet. Now it is 700 to 100, which I don't know what that is, but I'll just pretend that's got to be about 14%. That's another way is that net square footage. And now there's another one that is, is, is not used enough, in my opinion, which is the number of rooms method, where we look at the total house and we say, hey, Here's the area being used there. There's another, let's say that we have a total of five rooms and this is all hallway or common space or something like that. Uh, let's say that actually we'll make another room. We'll just have to make this the, this is non-usable traffic area, kind of a goofy layout for a house. But let's just say we have six rooms. Now we are six to one. And that's gonna be way better. That's gonna be um, six goes into one how many times? All right, this is one of those things where now I'm just going to grab a, a flipping calculator. So one divided by six. So that's 16.6%. So we would look at all the expenses and you'd take 16% of that. And so what did I use as my, in my example? What did you say, 9,000? 9, 9,000. So let's say that we have 9,000. <coughs> one, two, three times 16. So now I have a, a $1,400 expense, which is by far the best now it can reimburse me that amount and again I'm, I'm throwing numbers out at you your numbers are gonna be way different just because nine thousand is not what it costs to actually own a home unless you're living in Indiana in a funky area and, um, and, and while we talk about mortgage and real estate taxes depreciation a lot uh, a lot of people rent their homes and that rent expense is also a, a part of this formula mm -hmm. now I'm gonna do a shameless plug and I'm gonna tell you if you want to learn about this stuff and you want to see the actually have the calculators and all that jazz that we use, then you're going to want to come to an event that's called Tax Wise. You're going to want to go to that. It's a because, blast. Yeah, because we break it down. And so there's my shameless plug. You're going to want to come to that. Now, if you're platinum, you're probably getting free tickets. If you're not platinum, you're not. You're going to pay something. But for the platinum folks, this is a <coughs> no-brainer. You know, yeah, you always want to come. Hang out with us about tax. That's just one. That, that's one of 29 different uh, uh, deductions we talk about. Right.